about not wanting to die. Actually, Bryce Harper is the only one who admits that kind of fear against the role as Chapman. Says the first thing I'm thinking, you know, you go into some guys, you're thinking about your mechanics, you're thinking about the game situation. When he steps in against Chapman, he's just thinking, I don't want to die today out here. So it's, you know, the, the, because the ball does disappear on the batters. It's, it's traveling faster than your eye can follow it when it gets up around 100. So when, when, when the missile's coming at you and you lose sight of it, that's a scary moment. Boy, no question. Jonathan Hawk is the writer director of Fastball, and let's uh, let's talk one more batter here before I let you go. Derek Jeter is another player that you sat down with. He had an incredible career. Obviously, he was a tremendous hitter. Who did Derek Jeter struggle with? Well, the the at bat he remembered more than any other for a fastball pitcher was against Troy Percival. We're talking about your Angels again, and in '95. They were at Yankee Stadium, and Jeter had just been called up. And it was a 3-2 and two count, and Percival was pitching. Percival was a hard 98, right? Oh, yeah. He, yep. was, he was pumping it. And the catcher, you know, had this rookie up there, and catch, Jeter said, catcher looked up at me, and he said, well, it's no mystery what he's going to throw now, kid. And he just blew him away with a 3-2 and two fastball. And Jeter got – it was that last out of the game, and Jeter got sent to the minors the next day. And uh, so he said that, that at bat against Troy Percival stayed with him. And, and, you know, 21 years later, he's still haunted by it. That's just fantastic stuff. The film sounds like a lot of fun, absolutely terrific stuff for any baseball fan. Uh, you've already been through the film festival thing. It's now out there for the public. Where can they find it? Where can we see, where can we see the film? So it's on iTunes and Amazon and all that, and uh, it's actually the number one documentary on iTunes. Oh, nice, awesome stuff. Jonathan Hawk, writer, director of Fastball. If you're a baseball fan, you're going to want to check this one out, and it's on iTunes, so it's just that easy to find. Jonathan, thanks for spending time with us this morning on NBC Sports Radio. Good luck with the film. Jim, thank you very much. Hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, anybody that's a baseball fan is going to enjoy that. That's just fantastic stuff. I remember that Ron Say World Series thing, too. We did think that he was dead because, man, he hit him right in the head, right in the head with like a 98-mile-an-hour fastball. Wow. Fun stuff from Jonathan Hawk.